Kev, there must be some tired bodies amongst the group this morning after Saturday's exploits. Um, how's training gone today? No, yeah, good as you say. We've, I think everyone in the country will say the same about a bit of tiredness after a few games. Obviously, we're in a different situation, but the tiredness is nowhere near as bad when you win football matches. So, um, lads are in good spirits. These Saturday to Tuesday turnarounds are certainly going to put a strain on, on what is a small squad. Um, I know it's not sustainable throughout the season, but with the character amongst the the group, does that sort of get everybody through it? Listen, yeah, we've got to, yeah, we've got what we've got. Um, so we've got to pick ourselves up and ready to go again, and you know, worry about the future when that comes, and you know, treat each day and each game as it comes, and you know, we'll be ready to, to go again, and you know, hopefully, get a level of performance that you know allows you to get a result. Um, but you know, we went there last year in a tough, tough game, and. It always is there, you know, they, they cause teams a lot of problems. Yeah, I mean, with looking back at what's happened so far, two games and, and two clean sheets, it's such a great, you know, start to the season and, and especially like keeping those goals out at, at, at our end. What do you put that down to? No, I think it's, you know, I can't give the players enough credit because it, there's a lot of organisation that goes into stuff and, you know, and how we look in certain situations defensively. Um, but tactics and things go out the windows when they cross the white line the players have got to be able to put their bodies on the line and want to defend and, and that's as a group from the front players right the way through to Colin so um, pleased you know but it is only two games and you know there's a long long way to go and for us it's just you know if we can get as many points on the board as we can at the minute and, and see where that takes us and you know just try and be ready and, and up for every game that comes our way. And for the second time this season, second away game, it's, it's completely sold out. Our fans, we talk about them a lot. They are fantastic. There's not much more else that we can say about them. But how much of a lift when the players cross that white line and just seeing and hearing them? Yeah, I think, you know, you see, I think cards touching it after the game. And even when you come out for the warm up and you see the numbers we travel in, we've had it. You know, since I come back, I, there's a number of games, Dover, um, Barnet last year, like, and there's too many to mention probably. And, they're with the players, you can see that, you know, and the players are responding to them as well. So, you know, it makes for a good mix and you know, we, we're certainly appreciative of the of the numbers that they travel in and the noise they make and as you say we'll need them again. Um, you know, because the players are, are giving everything for them as well. Yeah, the, of course it, it's still early days and the league's still settling down, but we face a Dorking side that have yet to pick up a point, so I mean it, Despite that, it's still going to be a, a tough game tomorrow night. No, absolutely, because you know they went to Chesterfield and only lost late on, obviously, and they caused them a, a lot of problems. Um, and on Saturday, there's disappointing. I'm sure they will be, but they'll be looking to respond, you know, in the home game. So tough, tough game. We know that every time we've played Dorking, there's been not much in the in the game, and you know, both ways, you know, when we've got a result, and obviously when they did last year, and. Um, you know, we've got to be ready for it. Um, there's no doubt about that. You know, they, Mark's got them always at it. Um, play good football and, and, and cause teams trouble. Yeah. We know, um, obviously, you don't want to give anything away in terms of team news-wise, but are there some knocks around at the moment that you're going to have to nurse through? Yeah, I don't want to give you that, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> we're, listen, we are, we are, I think there's bumps and bruises. and um, you know, We'll see how we are after back of training today. and We've got the squad we've got um, and we'll see who's available and fit and ready to go. Yeah, and uh, and just lastly for me, a uh, great gesture from Dorking manager and chairman Mark White. He's, he's put on a, a drink for the supporters that are turning up tomorrow <laughs> night. It's, a, it's like I say, it's a nice gesture, isn't it? Yeah, no, fair play. He's he's got plenty of money to do that, Mark, so he can. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, great gesture and you know, top man for that. And I'm sure that the fans will be appreciative of it, of it, and they'll have a few more and hopefully make them even noisier. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Just, go on. I, I was just going to say, uh, you know, Matt mentioned it there about injuries and such like how key is that over the next several weeks to avoid try getting injured getting knocks bumps bruises and probably bookings or indeed red cards yeah this, i think every every team's going to have that and you know we're in a situation where it probably matters more to us in terms of you know managing players obviously in training and stuff like that where we've got to adjust accordingly and you know the recovery period becomes even greater because we've got players that are going especially you know we we're quite an intense team as well when we play so um yeah it's going to play a part but you know we we know what we we've got we know what we need um and if we're to take it forward that's got to change obviously and um yeah, listen i can't when you're winning games it helps because the players can you know generally churn out games after games and but you know i'm not hopefully thinking too much about injuries etc um 
and just focusing on what we can deal with and what we can control. And with these new, new rules that are being implemented, 100 plus minutes be seemingly being played, fitness is going to be key, isn't it? And, and for the players that are out there at the time? Yeah, it is. Like I said, I think in the interview the other day, I think it will settle down and we'll find a happy medium with it all in terms of rather than being 10 minutes at the end of the games, it's, and I think you see that in the Premier League games yesterday. Uh, so hopefully that will settle down. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to take a toll, and I think everyone's going to find out we're going to take time to adjust. And yeah, like, I can't think too far ahead, I'm only the next game, and you know, see who's available after that, and we go again. And it's going to catch up with us. Like, who knows? You know, I don't want to. All I want to focus on is the players and what they're doing at the minute, and, and what we're doing as a team, and, and try and continue that. And just finally, a really embryonic table at the moment. But Blues are top. How much pride do you get from that? No, it's only two matches, but just seeing your club top of the table. Yeah, because you know we spoke about it before the first game that every prediction league has us down the bottom, and you know who knows what's going to pan out. But for the players then to react, and for the staff and everyone connected with the club, it gives us all a, a huge lift and the fans as well. And you know, so it's all credit to the players that we are there at the minute. You know, it is early days, and I don't we won't get carried away because. You know, just all you do is go and try them in the next game and see where that takes you. But you know, it should give everyone a lift at the football club, and, and that's important.